we have came across some of your favorite hoopers long before they were household names. Please like and subscribe to our channel and enjoy this video. Trey Young, coming out of high school, was the 23rd ranked player in the 2017 class. For the longest, people said he was too small to make an impact at the next level. Seven years later, Ice Trey continues to prove them wrong. Enjoy some highlights from the summer of 2015 where he dominated the NBPA Top 100 camp. Chet Holmgren always had that dog in him. As an unranked freshman in Minnesota, you could tell he was going to grow into something special. The Thunder selected him with the number two overall pick. He may have the most potential in this NBA draft class. Before he was one of the most promising young stars in the NBA, Devin Booker was a kid from Grand Rapids, Michigan. After his freshman year, he moved south and played for the Alabama Challenge. Here are a few clips. He dropped a 40 ball in front of Coach Calipari. We even caught him getting buckets on four time NBA champ Andre Iguodala. Iggy got him back, but we won't show that part. We first saw Tyler Hero in November of 2015 at the Pangos Midwest camp. He could score with the best of them. This was before the NBA Finals and that Jack Harlow joint. 15-year-old Jalen Green was a problem. He went nuts at the 2017 Tarkanian Classic. Easily one of the best high school dunkers in recent history. Our first video on Anthony Edwards was him obliterating a defender in New York. As y'all know, he continued to do that through the rest of high school. By the way, y'all gotta check out Hustle on Netflix. He's that dude in it. When Paige Beckers was a freshman in high school, we were the first to have a video on her. It's crazy to see how much her fame has grown, but it wasn't a big surprise because she's always had that swag. As a sophomore, Sharif Cooper put his name on the map with a 42-point performance at the City of Palms. But the Atlanta Hawks PG during that game also hit the game winner. You could tell that boy was built different. Before you saw him on 2K commercials, Mikey was out there getting buckets on the North Coast Blue Chips. At this event, the cameras were there for Bronny, but came away feeling like Mikey was the best player in the 2023 class. After seeing him in Vegas a couple weeks ago, it made me think he really had the chance to make it in the league. The number one pick in the 2022 NBA draft, Paolo Banchero, dominated playing up when he was just 15. With Jalen Suggs, Bamba, Foltz, and Bol Bol, Orlando is at a good spot to start making some playoff runs. As a Detroit Pistons fan myself, I am very happy we just got Jaden Ivey. Before he was a lotto pick, he was going off at the 2019 EYBL Peach Jam. Before Keegan Murray was one of the leading scorers in college basketball, he was a star at Cedar Rapids Prairie in Iowa. A year at DME Prep did him great. He was just drafted number four overall to the Sacramento Kings. In eighth grade, Caitlin Clark was torching nets for all Iowa attack. You could tell right then that she was an elite scorer, but now she's the most elite scorer in all of college basketball. Enjoy Caitlin Clark dropping 42 as the crowd chants overrated to the wrong girl. <laughs> Just look at the crowd. She had those guys in disbelief. The middle ball Jello was going off his junior season for Chino Hills. Obviously, his brother had already gained some fame, 
but Jello was just getting his started. Now this footage definitely ages us because our quality just wasn't quite there. But from what you can see, Julius Randle was a savage. Miles Bridges has been that dude forever, but we started seeing a lot of him in 2014. His athleticism was second to none. He would just go up and get those. And he really, really tried to break our camera. As a freshman, Cade Cunningham had a smooth game. He used his smarts to get the buckets, but by the time he was a senior, he had all the physical tools to complement. Really happy to see him on the Pistons. At 7'5", Taco was hard to miss, but in the EYBL, he made sure his name wasn't forgotten. He almost tore the whole goal down at the MBPA Top 100 camp. Before winning a championship at Duke, Tyus Jones was known to be one of the best point guards in the country. He played all four years at Apple Valley in Minnesota, and by his senior year, he had all the juice. Before D'Angelo was snitching, I mean, uh, just playing, D'Angelo was the man for each one, teach one. He went off in Orlando at the 2013 AAU Super Showcase. Scotty Barnes has always been a savage. We first saw him as a sophomore at the City of Palms. Get your popcorn ready every time he hits the hardwood. Before becoming one of the best players on the Cleveland Cavaliers, Darius Garland was seen going crazy at the Made Hoops warm-up. Later on in his high school career, he was absolutely cooking people in front of 20,000 plus fans. Donovan Mitchell had one of the toughest Tomahawks in the 2015 class. He really broke out summer of 2014 in Philadelphia when he played in the Reebok Breakout Classic. Gemma Gatwich was first seen at our courtside June camp in 2018. He is highly regarded the best high school dunker of all time. Y'all might have seen him from this dunk. Brandon Ingram was one of the first hoopers that fit the baby KD comparisons. Our first time seeing him was the summer of 2013. The Top 100 camp was a great place for him to show how good he was versus top competition. LaMelo Ball was on the Chino Hills team that went undefeated. Some people say this was the greatest team of all time. This is also when the Ball brothers began to gain all their fame, as LaMelo was the 13-year-old point guard running the show. Jason Tatum, to this day, is one of the best players we have ever covered. He was the star for the St. Louis Eagles EYBL team. But check this out. Funny story about Tatum. He was the first person I had ever filmed. You never know who some of these kids end up becoming. De'Aaron Swipe of Fox is a blur out there. He was always the fastest player on the court, and it's crazy to see that most people rank him to be the fastest person in the NBA. Now, I'm already going to know that people are going to say Zion was already famous, but trust me, he wasn't quite yet. This was November of his junior year in high school, long before Drizzy was seen rocking his jersey. Tyrese Maxey is one of the best young players in the league. He's coming off averaging over 17 points his second year. But we first seen him as a freshman at the Pangos All-South Camp. T-Jazz is famous for his insane layups, but we go way back. This is him in the 2015 Pangos Midwest Camp. That next year, he pulled up to our fall camp. 
Now you can see him posted up with Polo G. As a 6'7 8th grader, Bol Bol had all the potential. His length and ability to hit shots made him a scary matchup. These are some clips from one of our first times going quote unquote viral. He had some of the wildest plays when he was on KC Run GMC. Bowl said, give me that. Dennis Smith was selected ninth overall in the 2017 NBA Draft. He was easily one of the most exciting hoopers in the later days of the mixtape era. He could break you down and dunk all over the help side defense. Markel Fultz was somebody we covered long before he was the number one pick in the draft. Absolute bucket out of the DMV who played point guard for the DC Blue Devils. We covered Ben Simmons shortly after he came to the States from Australia. And the, I know what everybody's going to say. Ben Simmons can't shoot. Who said that? Bam Adebayo keeps getting better and better. He has already been to an NBA Finals and had another Conference Finals appearance with the Miami Heat. Back then, we saw Bam deleting shots. Canadian-born PG Jamal Murray was the seventh overall pick in the 2016 NBA Draft. Before he was a Denver Nugget, he was out there headhunting for Orangeville Prep. Kyle Kuzma. Kuzma burst onto the scene in the summer of 2013. One of the steals of the 2017 NBA Draft wasn't even ranked in ESPN's 2014 rankings. We first seen DeJounte Murray in the summer of 2014. Now he's one of the best players on the Spurs and could have won most improved player of the year. Jalen Brown is one of the most promising young players in the NBA. We first seen Jalen Brown in the summer of 2013. That very next summer, he was putting up 50 balls for game elite in the Adidas circuit. Jalen Brunson really stepped up big for the Dallas Mavericks in the playoffs. Before he was putting up 30 on the Warriors, he was a dominant Chicago area point guard playing for Mac Irvin and Stevenson in Illinois. You can tell this is a long time ago by how big Wiggins shorts were, but this is the same time that he came onto the American basketball scene dominating with CIA bounce. Calling a young check of phone. Mo Bamba is the center for the Orlando Magic. We first seen him in the summer of 2015 where he was destroying everyone in the paint. Jordan Poole is coming off a career year with the Warriors that eventually led him to winning his first championship. But our first time seeing him was at our 2016 fall camp, where you can see he was putting the moves on some guys. Michael Porter may be the most talented hooper we have ever seen in high school. At 6'10", he played like a guard and had so much athleticism. April of 2015, we caught one game on him, and we knew he was the truth. The rest is history. As a freshman for the St. Louis Eagles, you could tell that James Wiseman had tons of potential. He moved so well out there for being 6'9", and now he's an NBA champion. 15-year-old Josh Christopher was a problem. We first saw him at the Las Vegas Classic, playing alongside Sharif O'Neal, so you know Shaq had to be the coach. Jay Gupp never let the stars phase him. Had to throw this nasty clip in there from the next time we saw him. Dude's still looking for that ball somewhere behind him. Jalen Suggs, before he became a March Madness star, at age 15, he was already making a name for himself in his home state of Minnesota. 
Cole Anthony could be considered famous because of his dad, but I think he made a name for himself. As a freshman at the Pangos All-American camp, he held his own. The Houston Rockets just got Jabari Smith with the number three pick in the NBA draft. He could be the best scorer in this rookie class. Only the OG courtside fans seen our first look at Fred Van Fleet. Our name was still Iowa Elites. This was back in 2011 where it all began. Appreciate y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe so we can keep this thing rolling.